Hello again, Tinkers. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Thank you for uh, staying here and to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. So, in this video, Tinkers, I am gonna share to you some tips on how to avoid not to be scammed by the person you met online okay so if you want to know the tips that I am gonna share to you please continue watching and then while you're watching please press the subscribe button and don't forget to like and comment with love okay girls I know I know you are all excited or it's only my instinct <laughs> or it's only my feelings that all of you are excited to know the tips that I have listed or the tips that I will share to you Tinkles, the tip number one that I will gonna give to you is investigate investigate okay sorry for the pronunciation Tinkles well I'm gonna say it in Tagalog and in Visaya so investigate is uh, in Tagalog we can call it kilatisin and in Bisaya, which is my mother tongue, it's Sutaon. So, to make it shorter, I only make explain it in the three long different languages. But for sure, I will explain it in English. Okay. So, Tinkles, first, all you need to do is investigate. Yes, it's needed that you, need, that you will investigate the person you met online. Because if you will not go... Uh, if you will not do it, for sure you are gonna be scammed and then after you scammed, you blame much people. Well, <laughs> kidding. Okay, so that's the most important thing, Tinkles. Uh, just investigate the person you met online. And while well, investigate, you can connect it to number two, friends. So through investigation, through investigation tinkles you can uh, connect to the friends of the person you met online so if the person you met online give you the Facebook account but make sure that the Facebook account is not dummy account tinkles or the whatsapp make sure to make faster video call okay and don't allow that they will only show to you their feed or only audio call like that because Mm, tinkles, we never know if they are real or not. Okay, so yeah, maybe the voice is real, but you know, if the if the person you met online is have a pure intention, he or she will not be shy to show uh, his or her face to you, Tinkles. So through investigation, you can connect it with the friends of the person you met through online. So. Through Facebook account, you can uh, see all the friends that are listed. So you can ask one by one that you think this girl is close to the person you met online, this woman. So you can ask more information about them. Okay? So don't foster belief that I love you, I really do. Uh, that's, you know. So just. Uh, don't trust faster just make your effort first to get more information about this person about that person so in that case you need someone that is connected to the person you have chatted to okay so that's number two tinkles huh Number one is investigate and number two is you need to connect to the friends of the friend of the person you met online. Am I clear? Okay. So that's number two tinkles and the number three, well, I am not specifically, I, I didn't generalize all but tinkles, this is much important also. Don't 
faster connect to the family of the person. Why? Why I included this? Why I prefer friends than family? Because sometimes in real life, yeah, it happened na families are the one who covered up the 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 family also you know family by family blood by blood they cover all the mistakes of one so that to save the reputation or whatsoever right correct me if i'm wrong think i'll just leave your comment below that's it so don't foster connect to the family i didn't say na you will not gonna connect to them but don't do it so fast because there are times or situation na if the woman is if the person you met uh make such mistakes and then you will ask to the family just to make it sure if it's real or not and then the family also don't want to lose you because they want you for their daughter or son so they will cover up they will tell a lie no it's not true my my daughter my son is blah 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 like that okay so, don't faster connect to the family, Tinkles, to avoid to be scammed, okay? And then, well, another, again, I didn't say that all family is like that, but that's mostly reality. And then number four. Number four, Tinkles, follow your instinct. Yes, it is very important to follow your instinct because we also have this feeling now if we met a person or if we have chatted a person, uh, we have this instinct, I feel she's good, I feel she's bad. So what your instinct tell to you, you should follow it because it's only your instinct know also which if the person is good or bad because if you don't have a good feeling with that person why well, you need to still continue to chat with it right and if you have a good feelings so continue so that's it tinkles number four is instinct and the number five do not it's the most important so that the scum is really not so painful do not send faster money to the person you only met online be aware yeah you can send if you want but it's needed that for you to first investigate make some informations like that because nowadays there are more people do everything just because of money right um, I'm a clear for that. Even they all know na it can harm or it can hurt to someone, but they all make such situation like that just to earn. So Tinkles, speak of advice. Don't send money faster because if you do it, you cannot get back the money faster that's it only tinkles that's the most important and then i guess that's the most also problems why you can tell that you are you are scum because you faster give money i believe if you chatted the person through online you didn't meet them like that and then you didn't give anything you cannot call it that you are scum because you didn't give anything to the person that's it I am clear and then I have last thing also it is so famous here in the Philippines details do not trust the Maritis here in the Philippines well to make it shorter or to make it that you can understand what this Maritis is uh, in other term for that CCTV CCTV here in the Philippines is not the digital that is connected to the computer or any sensor. It's only two eyes of one person. And then that person can tell you a story which is true or not true. Okay? So that's it, Maritas in the Philippines. 
they will faster say a word to you and then the most problem is they will add the situation which is really terrible I've been into that experience Marites in the Philippines I was not able to there is some situation uh, my partner received a message telling that I'm in that place with other people with other guy and where in fact they have wrong information so don't believe in my this why because what if the Filipina are serious about you and then they will tell you oh don't don't believe her because she just use you she just run with your money like that and then you foster belief to the person you you didn't chatted with that's not good tinkles just you know there's some point of view also that part is all right but most of the time Marites are wrong because they will remove some some situation and then add some situation to make the situation more harder so tinkles just believe in yourself and trust in your instinct for what you think is the best so again the tips that I have given to you is to investigate uh, connect with friends don't connect faster with the family follow your instinct do not send money faster and then don't trust Maritis <laughs> okay so I hope Twinkles I explained very well and I hope I help you in this kind of topic so if you have more suggestion opinion you can leave it in comment section Tinkles, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Bye. Mm -hmm.